shifted the culture, the climate, like district people would come in and they're like, it's quiet. Like <laughs> kids are learning. They're in classrooms. Like, yeah, like, you know, we knew it was something that we had to get under control, but we also had to change our mindsets too, because we had did all of the reactive things like, oh, we're going to do Saturday school or you're going to have an out of school suspension, an in school suspension. But that stuff wasn't working. And it wasn't until we actually transitioned to um, we signed on to become a trauma sensitive school that we had trauma training, not only for our support staff, but for our teachers, too. And so we were able to change that question to like, OK, not what did that student do, but what happened to that student? And how can I support that student so that we could be more preventative versus reactive? That's the major key. That data and all that is going to help you be preventative to these student challenges. Like, I could probably look at a school's data right now and tell them, like, okay, you probably need to put a, a, a practice right here. You need to put um, some type of implementation or intervention right here because this is going to be an issue for you. You know, like it's it's all in the data.